So within get, there's a number of different commands that we can do. Remember, git is this distributed version of control. So let's have a look at this person up here. He may have some code that he's working on. We said git is distributed, so we're all working on it on our local machine. So this developer, he has this code open on his local machine. What git is, is essentially, when we start it, it puts a little database on our computer. So once we enable git, we call this initiating git, we have a little database. And let's say we have this code and we add some lines, in this case, adding a column. What it's going to do is every time we want to make some changes, we can save a change, save a version, right? And this, this is the type of version control, all locally on our local machine in this little database down in the bottom left here. So we've saved this version to it. Then I might delete this column, and that's going to save another version, and this is going to be version 3. And you'll notice instead of us saving multiple files, and lots of different files, what Git is, is a little database within our local machine that's saving these different files inside that database. One thing is, we can go back, and right? so say we didn't want to go to that version 3, we can say, Reload version 2. So instead of having to have all the different files, it just manages this in its own system by saving a copy. It doesn't change and it doesn't delete your changes. It just saves a copy of each one within its Git database. We regularly save the version of our code. And we call this a commit. This is a commit in Git. Now, of course, one big thing about Git is that there's multiple people working on the file. So while we have multiple copies, everyone's own local machine, we also have a main copy of our code. This is obviously the one that's out and people are seeing as in the production in the end of the board. So this central location with the code related, this is called a repository, or really you'll hear people calling it most likely a repo. So the repo or the repository is just that main version of our code, which is normally hosted in the cloud, while we have all our local copies that we're working on and making these commits and little saves. And then, obviously, once we have done our changes, we want to put them back to the main copy. Right? So we've done changes on our local machine, everyone's in their own changes. Now we want to put them back into that main repo and change the main copy. Well, we're not just replacing the whole file, and this is the beauty of Git. What we want to do is just update the little bits that we change. So with code, everything has line numbers. We might have 100 lines of code. We might have only changed lines 7 and 8. In that case, we're not going to replace the whole file. We're just going to go to lines 7 and 8 on the main code. We say, here are our changes. We're going to merge them back. So just change the bits that we've changed in our local machine. And this is called merging the code. Instead of replacing the, the main file in the replay, we're just merging the little bits that we changed back into the main. That's called a merge. 